Hello, I'm Nick Park from Evangelical Alliance Ireland, and this is our weekly message. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Uh, on Wednesday night, I was in Dublin. I was at the Savoy Cinema in O'Connell Street watching a preview screening of a faith-based movie called Cabrini. Uh, it's actually from the same director who produced uh, The Sound of Freedom, Alejandro uh, Monteverde. And uh, I went to that screening, I'm going to be honest with you, I went to that screening with low expectations about the movie. I, I wanted to support the people who are promoting the movie because, uh, well basically because I believe that having more faith-based movies in Irish cinemas is a great thing to happen. And for a long time, it was almost impossible for this to happen. And, and in recent times, we've had episodes of The Chosen being shown. We, we've had The Sound of Freedom. Uh, we, we had Jesus Revolution. Uh, we've got, for example, uh, from the same studio as produced Cabrini and Sound of Freedom, we've got a, a biography a movie of uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer that's going to be coming that I'm really looking forward to. And so I think it's a great thing that we're that we're promoting faith-based movies in Irish cinemas and that Irish cinemas are discovering that there is an audience for such movies. And so I wanted to encourage the people that are involved in this. But as I say, I had low expectations of this movie. It's a movie about a nun. I'm director of Evangelical Alliance. You know, um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably not going to be recommending this movie to people to see, but I'll go along because I'm supporting those that are in the general push to promote faith-based movies in Irish cinemas. And I was completely taken by surprise. I found it to be an absolutely captivating and inspiring film. It's quite a long film, two hours, 25 minutes. But uh, I... I uh, I, I, I didn't budge from my seat the whole time. And let me tell you, at 61 years old, when I go to the cinema, I usually have to go to the toilet at some stage. But uh, this, this had me captivated. It's the story of Francesca Cabrini, who was a, a nun from Lombardy in Italy, uh, who had poor health, uh, had to battle with the institutional church to be able to go uh, to minister uh, outside of Italy. And she really wanted to go to China, uh, but she wasn't allowed to do so. And finally, almost as a concession, the Pope said to her, okay, you can go to, uh, you can go to North America, go to New York, where there's a lot of Italian immigrants. And even there, she got a lot of opposition from the church. Uh, the Catholic Church at that time in the New York Diocese was predominantly Irish, and they themselves had come in as immigrants uh, to North America and really had to fight a battle to get accepted and become part of American society. And so to, to now have uh, the church moving and starting things among the Italian immigrants who were highly discriminated against at the time for pretty racist stuff was being directed at them, to be honest. Uh, it was just a step too far for the church hierarchy. But nevertheless, uh, sis, uh, Mother uh, Francesca Cabrini wound up in New York. Uh, and there she, against all the odds, despite being in poor health, despite being told she was only likely to live a couple of years, even if she rested, she worked unceasingly. She started orphanages, hospitals, uh, schools, and uh, in fact started a, uh, a, a movement, a charitable movement around the world, including to her original target of China, that at one time was like the largest charitable uh, relief movement in the world. Now, what are my takeaways from this movie and why would I recommend that you, as, as if, if you're an evangelical Christian, that you'd go and watch a movie about an Italian nun? Well, basically there's three big, very strong uh, storylines running through this. One is about the power of faith in God. It's not about the power of the Catholic Church or the power of her particular doctrines. It's the power of somebody with a very deep personal faith in Jesus Christ and what that can motivate them to do. And very often it was not because of uh, the, the established church, but in spite of the established church that she was able to achieve so much. Uh, the second strand about it is about how God uses women. 
that she was repeatedly told that she could not do many things because she was only a woman, that she should know her place. And so there's a strong story that uh, God can use women in incredible ways in his kingdom and through the power of the gospel. Now, the third strong strand, apart from faith and the role of women in this movie, is about Im immigrants and uh, the, the horrific conditions and the dreadful racism and uh, violence that was directed towards Italian immigrants into North America. And sometimes even those like the Irish who had been immigrants themselves only a generation earlier uh, failed to stand up for the Italian immigrants at their time of suffering. And uh, there was one particularly poignant point in the film, whenever I don't want to give a lot away about the plot, because I'd love you to go and watch the film and enjoy it. But there's one bit where uh, some arsonists are, are setting a fire in a building uh, that is being renovated at the time for the Italian immigrant community. And uh, when that scene came on the, on, on, uh, up on the screen of these people putting petrol around and setting fire to the place, there was an audible intake of breath from those of us that were at the screening, because I think most of us recognise that this is very close to things that we have happening in Ireland today directed against immigrants. And so very powerful on three levels. This movie is powerful about the power of somebody's personal faith in God and having a calling from God. It's a powerful movie about how God can use women. And it's a powerful movie about uh, immigrants into a society and why they should be treated compassionately and the difficulties that they face. So I would thoroughly recommend everyone to go and see this movie, very powerful movie indeed, that by far exceeded my expectations. Now I understand the official launch date for the movie uh, in, in the UK and Ireland is the 15th of March. However, uh, with the 8th of March being International Women's Day, I understand there's, there may well be some special screenings taking place on the 8th of March. And as that becomes more clear, as, as uh, the times and dates of viewings and the cinemas that are going to be showing it is finalised, we will be advertising this uh, on our Evangelical Alliance Ireland Facebook page and sending out, if you're on our mailing list for our e-zine, uh, then you, we'll be getting an, an, an e-zine about it. If, if you're not on our mailing list, then, then why not join it? Go on to our website, www.evangelical.ie and ask to be added to the mailing list for our e-zine that shares news about stuff that Evangelical Alliance is involved in. But uh, the movie is Cabrini. Uh, it's going to be in Irish cinemas, quite likely some special screenings on 8th of, of March, but then the official launch date for the movie is the 15th of March. Again, well worth watching. Uh, it confounded my expectations and I hope it will exceed your expectations. And I believe it is going to be a powerful uh, step into seeing more quality faith-based movies and movies that promote Jesus Christ being shown on the screen in secular Irish cinemas. May God help in that venture. It might be Friday, but Sunday's coming. <laughs>